Hey, what's up, Street Talks? This is Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. It uh, is 12 midnight right now, and I just wanted to make a quick video uh, giving you guys an update for the first day of shooting for the Samsung uh, NX20 campaign. It was pretty pretty crazy. Uh, the day actually started uh, for me at, I, I woke up at around 4 a.m., had a quick breakfast, and, oh yeah, I failed to mention, I slept probably at 2, so I only had like 2 hours of sleep. And generally, I'm really bad on having low amount of sleep, I was just really pumped up for this um, this uh, this campaign, so, uh, you know, I was just downing coffees all day long, and took a little breaks here and there, so it seemed like it worked out pretty good. I started the day at 4, had a, some cereal and stuff like that, uh, did all the testing for the camera, and of course, uh, Took a took the camera, strapped it to my forehead like this. Of course, got the got the live stream hooked up to the Cerevo, which I just put in my pocket, which kind of gave a live um, video stream and uh, sound feed of everyone um, in uh, Amsterdam. And uh, sorry guys for the confusion earlier. Um, it was. Uh, I thought that there was going to be a live feed available on Facebook, but it appears that there isn't. But there's going to be more sneak previews with the, the photos and some of the videos that's going to come out soon. And it was uh, it was pretty interesting. I mean, I've never shot street photography like any time before 7 o'clock. And uh, Chicago on the streets at 5 a.m. Surprisingly, there's a lot of people up and about. Um, it kind of humbled me a little bit to think about um, all the people who struggle really hard in their everyday lives, you know, really struggling to just kind of uh, just earn their living barely and uh, a lot of people at the gas station got a lot of good shots there I start off the day talked to this lady who was running a bus and I spent like five minutes just talking to her taking her photo I uh, talked to some guys at the gas station super friendly and one of the things I've really enjoyed about um, uh, the, the NX20 is um, so it's got a Wi-Fi uh, connection uh, ability in which you could, you know, you could sync it with uh, your phone. Uh, you could just do a wireless tether um, hotspot off your phone, and you could actually connect uh, via Wi-Fi from the camera to the phone. And one of the things that I, you know, I feel kind of guilty about is when I take photos of people, it's kind of difficult to send them their photographs. But the the great thing about um, about this uh, this camera is, once again, uh, the when you go into when you go into the Wi-Fi mode. You could actually directly email them um, the photographs. So a lot of the people who I ended up um, uh, let's see if you could see it. Oh, okay, there it goes. Yeah. So let's say you know I took a photos of a bunch of people today, and all their emails are here. Um, don't spam them or anything. But probably sent around like 20 photos to people today. It was incredible. So you know they gave me their email. I punch it in there. Go down. Next. You know, then I then I kind of go back and um, try to find their the the photo I took of them and would uh, send it directly to them. And it was it was it was really lovely um, because oftentimes let's see I can't find any of the portraits I've I've taken in here. Yeah, but like yeah, some of these dudes on the street took their photo and emailed them the photos and stuff like that. And you know, people were pretty pretty surprised with it and. It was nice because, you know, I could send them the photos directly without having, um, you know, uh, without having the guilt of not sending it to them. And also, once again, uh, the opportunity to share with them. I had to upload uh, a photo every, like, two or three photos every hour. And getting a good photo, <laughs> let alone in a day, is, like, near impossible. One thing I decided to do for this project was to focus more on street portraiture. And, you know, generally I would say I'm a pretty... You know, pretty friendly guy. I'm good at talking with people, or at least I like to think so. But um, generally, a lot of times I tend to shy away as well. Uh, but this really forced me to step outside my comfort zone and talk to people who I usually wouldn't have talked to because, um, you know, of course, the pressure of having to make good photos. And it was a really, a really good experience for me. I, t I think in terms of um, the, having the pressure. And there's a saying I really like, uh, you know, pressure makes diamonds. And you know, I'm actually quite pleased with the photos I took today. Um, I sent my 10 best shots to Samsung. I put it on my Facebook. I'll I'll put a link below uh, if you guys want to check it out. And you know, I'm pretty blown away. I mean, this camera is like 20 megapixels, um, really sharp, like really good image quality. It's like D it's like a DSLR ASPC sensor, and uh, well, you know, it's a really small camera. It's like, you know, 
the only thing I could really compare it to is like my old Canon 5D, which was like a beast. And this, and that, I think this, the, the image quality, this is better and the high ISO performance. So really how much technology has kind of made a, a leap forward. Really cool camera. And, you know, the coolest thing that I did today was, you know, after taking a photo with this, I uh, linked it with uh, the Galaxy, uh, the, the tablet computer. Uh, the tab, the the Galaxy Tab 2, I believe, or it's called the Note 10 inch in the States. And pretty much what you could do is, um, you, you know, you have them both, you know, hooked up to the wireless hotspot. And there's something called Samsung Mobile Link. Pretty much just you, you just you just touch that there, and it says waiting. And in this, in the back of the camera here, you go to the Wi-Fi mode on top. And the back, you also click um, that same mobile link thing. And pretty much what happens is it says, you know, what which photos do you want to send? And you just do selected images. So let's say I took a photo of um, this this lady's back or whatever. And I'll choose this. And you click. You click share, and you know it's. it's tr then it says, "I was trying to find um, the mobile device uh, to connect to." So I have that kind of going on, and while that the Galaxy Tab says, "Oh, it's searching for a camera to uh, to connect to," and just kind of um, kind of wait for it. Oh, hopefully these are both. Yeah, searching for camera to share. Okay, so now it says connected to the smartphone, and that photo I took shows up in here. Really cool, huh? And now what I just do is you just you just select it. And press this little copy button on bottom. And it starts, you know, transferring it wirelessly. And it's really fast. It's send like five megabytes in like a second. File copy is complete. Click OK. And then what I did afterwards is, you know, go back home, open up the, the gallery, and under mobile link folder, I'll open it. And, you know, so these are these are all the shots I kind of took during the day of all these people that I uh, converted into black and white actually on this tablet, which is pretty cool. I emailed it. So let's just say, um, go into this photo again here. Oops, wrong photo. This photo here. So once I have this photo hit up here, um, you know, I could click this button up here and um, I could edit it in, you know, whatever the program I want to use. Um, for this, I actually have it bookmarked here. It's actually the default editing app for the the photo editor app for the the Galaxy uh, Tab, and it's actually really good. So down here, just go to this is what I did for all the photos. Just go to color, you know, grayscale. And you could, you know, it looks pretty good. I just I just use that. Up here, press the the plus, so it's converted to black and white. Then afterwards, what I did was um, click color again, go up to contrast. Down here, I might add a little contrast. So it's you know nice. And I click plus. And afterwards, what I do is click this top right button here and share via uh, Gmail or Facebook or whatever. So I just chose Gmail. And um, then, you know, you know, you save it. Let's say, this, let's say we'll just say pick. And then click OK. And then it'll open up Gmail. And I'll just send it directly to them. And yeah, and then they put it on the the TV in Amsterdam. So it was actually it's actually pretty pretty freaking cool. Like um, you know my my personal um, experiences 
you know, I don't know, like, I, I consider myself pretty tech savvy, but this stuff is a little bit, um, you know, it's really surprising to me. And, you know, one of the things that I've realized, you know, I like shooting with kind of more uh, digital cameras, like more SLR type, DSLR types, is how you could focus so close, because with the Leica, uh, minimum focusing distance is only 0.7, and if you're shooting with a, a this, this, this lens, and I, I've shot everything at uh, 18 millimeters, so I think it's about like a 24 mil. So I got really close to people uh, when taking the photos, and I think if you have a Leica on a 28, you can only focus to 0.7. I think this camera focuses up to like really close. Like it has like a macro mode, like definitely at least 0.2 meters or something like that. So yeah, uh, I have uh, another day of uh, shooting tomorrow. So thanks for watching the video, guys, and thanks for the support. It's, uh, I think it's a really, a really cool campaign. Uh, I'm really excited to see everyone else's photographs. And, uh, you know, if you guys are in Amsterdam, make sure to check out the exhibition. I right, take care, guys. I'm, uh, I need to wake up. It's 12.30. I need to wake up. Oh, I have like four hours of sleep. All right, <laughs> see you guys.